tonight with some breaking news. Crews in the city of Norwich are currently on the scene battling a fire. Hi everyone and thanks for joining us. I'm Aaron Connolly. And I'm Mark Zinni. The fire broke out at a home on Norwich Avenue and that's where we find Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Eliza Krasinski. She has been at the scene for quite some time. Eliza is still very active. What's the latest tonight? Mark and Aaron, they're actually clearing up right now. The fire is out three hours after the call came in at around 8 o'clock this evening uh, for a massive fire coming out of a uh, two-family home here at 112 Norwich Avenue. Take a look at this video that a neighbor sent us. It's, it was billowing out of the uh, home earlier this evening. Now, fire was here uh, four minutes after the call came in, so very quick. Uh, Mayday was reached, so um, that means that what the chief just mentioned uh, a little earlier this evening. He, he said that uh, a crew member was lost from engine two, uh, so they did call Mayday, but there were no injuries. He was evaluated and he was back to work. The fire was through the roof. The building uh, inspector is here, will be condemning the building. It, it has some severe damage. Um, and take a listen to what the fire chief has to say. He just spoke with us a little earlier. While the crews were searching, one fire got got separated. We had a mayday. It was we had tribal fast team on scene that rescued the firefighters along with outside operating fire companies from Yannick, Taffville, and Norwich all helped to assist get the firefighter out. No injuries. He's fine. He's back to work. Of course, the rainy weather didn't help anyone. There were a couple ambulances standing by here all evening. Again, came in around four, uh, around 8 o'clock, 8.04, um, and they are just wrapping up now. Building inspectors here will be taking a look at the building. No one was inside, um, and it is currently still under investigation. We will have updates right here on Channel 3. Live in Norwich, Eliza Krasinski, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.